So let us look at what is the change in demand equilibrium price when there is a perfectly inelastic supply and a change in demand takes place. The change in demand could be increase, it could be decrease. So in case of a perfectly inelastic supply and an increase in demand. So if you see in this case your supply curve is S which is staying as it is. Whether the price is here, whether it is here, whether it is here, it doesn't make any difference. The supply remains the same. In this case, what is happening is there's a perfectly inelastic supply and an increase in demand. So let's say for example, if the demand was 10 units and the supply was also 10 unit, the demand has now increased from 10 to 20, but the supply remains the same. In that case, because there are more number of buyers who are chasing a lesser number of commodity, they will be willing to pay a higher price, right? And therefore, the price is going to increase. That is what is depicted in this example. Under the original demand curve, when the equilibrium price, there where the supply and demand intersected was P. But subsequently, the demand increased from D to D1 the equilibrium price was E1 that is higher and resulting into a price P1 which is higher. The quantity however remains the same because the supply is perfectly inelastic. Second could be the supply again remains inelastic and there is a decrease in demand. Right? So let's say the demand was 10, the supply was 10. Right? The supply remains the same but the demand decreases from 10 to 6 unit. If there are lesser number of buyer, more sellers are going to chase them to sell their products, right? And they will be ready to offer them discounts, which means the price will decrease, right? Logically, that is what has to happen. And that is what is something which we have depicted as a part of this graph. The supply curve is again, perfectly inelastic, inimpacted by the price which is there, right? The original demand curve intersects at point E and the price is P. Since the demand decreases, the new demand curves will be on the left side. The new demand curve intersects the supply at E1 and if I draw a parallel to this to the price curve, it becomes P1, right? Which is less than 